I think a big part of my story is my community and um, the sisters around me that I have and my church family around me. So my name is Mallory and Discovery has meant home. It's meant finding Jesus, the purest form of Jesus for me. I kind of grew up in church because of my sister. She was the kind of lead way into church for our family. So I grew up um, in church, going to Sunday school, small groups, everything like that, going to church camps, so heavily involved, but more so um, just for the fun of it. All my friends were in it, so I was like, yeah, let's go, something to do, right? But I think what changed my faith heavily was when my parents got a divorce. Once I hit that point in my life, it happened um, my freshman year of high school. And from that point, um, suppressed a lot of what I needed in my life and just wanted to find stability and safety and whatever I could. You know, the college lifestyle um, definitely held me captive for a little bit. Honestly, COVID kind of saved me um, from going out and doing those things, but um, I remember it was after COVID, it was my senior year. Um, I was going out all the time um, with my friends and um, just drinking and doing all those things. And I was never fulfilled by anything that I was doing. Like, I knew that. I woke up one morning after and my friend was saying that she was gonna go to church. And I like woke up and I was just like, I'm gonna come with you. Went to church, happened to be Discovery Church. So um, I went and from that moment, it was like a refresh in my soul and my spirit. And it was something that, that's what I was longing for, that belonging of coming to God again. And he met me there. Like he was working all things together. I needed to fall straight on my face at that moment to be able to come um, back to Christ. And the overwhelming sense of peace that I felt was something that I always longed for and knew that Jesus had for me, but I didn't know how to receive it. But at that moment, I didn't have to do anything. I was just worshiping and He gave it to me. So it was like the gift that He gave me was peace. And I think that was like a highlight in my faith and um, discovery, like just the environment that they make accessible for us to experience Christ in that way is just beautiful. I think the biggest life change moment for me at Discovery was I got involved in a small group, ended up sitting by now my five best friends, my sisters. So it's just how God orchestrated that moment. And I remember everyone was like, you should go to tracks, you should go to tracks, you should get involved. And at that time, I had the dream of working in fashion. And that was where I thought I was gonna go. I had everything lined up for me, actually. I was all ready to go to move to San Diego. I had a job lined up there. I was gonna start that journey. I remember they were telling me go to tracks, get involved, and I was like, no, because I knew in my in in myself that if I would go, I would get attached. I decided to go to tracks, and I got involved with YA. I met more of my family. Something in me was not settled when I thought about moving to San Diego, because I had this is something that I longed for in my faith. This was something that I never had in my faith before was this community and fellowship and. I decided not to go to San Diego and that was a big faith move because I had a job and everything lined up. I graduated so it was like now what am I supposed to do? You know, I, I was very like ambitious but I realized that my ambition before I met Christ was driven by anxiety of fear of um, not wanting to make mistakes but now from that moment it's like God changed my ambition to faith through what Jesus calls in my life. It's not driven by fear, it's driven by what His call is for me, my security in that. It's been a journey. That moment that God met me at Discovery and gave me that peace in my spirit and my soul was something that I always prayed for, that I didn't know back then that I was praying for. But He showed up and He, he gave me that peace. So if I could describe unstoppable in one word, I would say powerful. He's just going to do his thing, and I can't wait to see everything that he does.